Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I'm going to do a couple of quick videos tonight before I, um, you know, finish packing real quick. You know, this first video is about um, this whole situation involving Colin Kaepernick, the NFL, you know, boycotts of the NFL versus boycotts of these beauty supply places. As you know, I did a video not too long ago about this Asian man that punched a black woman in the face. You know, this man owned this beauty supply place. Uh, he followed this woman out of the store. Apparently one of her children grabbed an item, like her one of her young children grabbed an item without paying. You know, the woman threw the item back into the store and then this guy proceeded to punch this woman in the face after some um, exchange of words. And so because of that, you know, a lot of African Americans have been calling for a boycott of that particular business. That took place in Tulsa, Oklahoma at June's or John's um, beauty supply place. And a lot of people did videos uh, calling for boycotts. And then shortly after that, the owner of the store, realizing that he's losing money because of the boycotts, decided to have 50% off of hair weaves and other products. And you had a long line of African-American women waiting outside of that store to go into that store and purchase items despite these calls for a boycott. So to make matters worse, this particular owner would not allow all of the women into the store at once. He had like a, a quota on how many people could go into the store. So in addition to like suffering the indignity of seeing a black woman uh, punched in the face, you had these women basically waiting outside, you know, having this man tell them that, it's too many of y'all. You can't come in here at once. And they still waited outside patiently. You know, they still were willing to purchase this, these products from a man who just punched a black woman in the face not too long ago. So a lot of people were roundly condemning these women, and rightfully so, for violating this boycott. You know, and they were also condemning one of these women who got all up in his brother's face, yelling at him you know, saying that he's not protecting and this and that because of some matter that happened within the store or whatever, you know, despite the fact that this man is out there protesting against the brutality of this particular owner. So a lot of black men and black women, you know, called out these women for violating this boycott, you know, talked about how they should have um, appreciated these brothers who were actually protesting and so you had the brothers and sisters calling for this boycott. And for a lot of women, it is a sacrifice for them to decide not to purchase items from a beauty supply store, especially when they love those particular items, they like those items. Whereas for a man, it's easy for a man to say, well, you need to boycott that particular business or whatever, because men, are, we're not buying any beauty products. So there's no need for us to, um, you know, it's not like any kind of sacrifice for us to say boycott that particular business. Now, I was watching this video that Voltron Black uh, posted where he was talking about how s some women basically were trying to call out black men for hypocrisy. Like these same black men that were condemning black women for going to this beauty supply place, place are the same black men that support the NFL are the same black men that still go to NFL games despite calls for boycotts against the NFL because of their persecution and blackballing of Colin Kaepernick. And, um, you know, this is what I have to say about that. You know, first of all, you know, I think that we need to boycott both. We need to boycott against, you know, these businesses that disrespect black people, you know, these businesses, um, who have zero respect for black people, where you have actual owners who abuse black people. Obviously, we should not be giving our money to those types of businesses. So a business like uh, Johns in, um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, we should boycott that business, and we should also boycott the NFL. Now, a lot of the brothers are not willing to do that because they don't want to sacrifice. You know, these brothers are more concerned with watching some people throw around a ball and run around on the field and they are concerned with, you know, the dignity of black people. 
you know, these brothers who are condemning these sisters, but at the same time, they're watching the game. They're watching NFL games. They are no different from those sisters who were lined up waiting outside of that store for their chance to purchase items that are 50% off. So, you know, these brothers that are supporting the game, you know, they, they can't condemn these sisters if they're, you know, why they're violating this boycott against the NFL. Because make no mistake about it, by the NFL blackballing this brother Colin Kaepernick, by the NFL colluding to deny this brother an opportunity to work in the NFL, the NFL is basically saying, you know, we are going to punish black men who stand up on political issues. The NFL is basically making him into a whipping boy to discourage black men, black athletes in particular, from standing up on these very important issues. And they're making it clear, you know, to the world that if you do this kind of stuff, you will be punished. And they're also making it clear that they don't give a damn about black issues. You know, they issued this statement, as I mentioned in my prior video, talking about how it's important for people to talk about social justice issues. At the same time, they're going to condemn a brother for doing just that bringing attention to social justice issues. Clearly, they don't care anything about police brutality. That is not a concern of theirs, even though most of the players on these football teams are black men. And black men are the ones who are being targeted by these police for harassment, for abuse, for brutality, for unjustified killings. And often these police walk away scot-free after killing black people, after brutally murdering black people, after lynching black people. So if the NFL doesn't give a damn about our issues, if the NFL wants to persecute, you know, black athletes for speaking out on our issues, then we don't have any reason to continue to watch these games, to buy the gear, to attend the games. We have no reason at all to do so. And it is hypocritical for a black man to be condemning these women for going to that beauty supply store while they continue to watch, you know, these NFL games. You know, watching these games of a team, that, you know, of, of a league that doesn't care anything about black people, of a league that persecutes black people for speaking out on issues that matter. So... It's quite easy for a man, again, to tell a woman not to purchase some beauty products, knowing that it's no sacrifice on his part. It's more difficult for a man to speak out against a game, you know, and say, well, I'm not going to watch this game anymore. Um, especially, you know, obviously if that man is somebody that's into sports, you know, if he's really into football, that is a sacrifice for him. And I know some people that are really into football and they're willing to make that sacrifice. Where's the spirit of sacrifice in our community, man? It's absent. You will see many African Americans attending those games, watching those games, just like you saw those black women lined up outside of that store. And until we are able to stand together as one on issues that are of importance to our community, then we will always be divided and conquered. These people will always get over on us. They will always be able to milk us and trick us and bamboozle us, man. You know, you got black people, you know, actually making arguments in support of the NFL, actually making arguments against Colin Kaepernick. When that brother is the, one of the few people standing up and speaking out against police brutality. You got these people that are more upset with Colin Kaepernick for protesting then they are upset with police killing black people and getting away with that brutal crime so you know i just had to share these quick thoughts about this you know to, to let you all know what i think um tell me what you think man are black men being hypocritical here you know and why is it that so many black people are still watching these games and the last point that i want to make is this you know I left a comment in Voltron Black's video basically make, saying the same things that I'm saying here. And um, 
someone basically said, well, do you think black people are going to make a difference, you know, given the fact that we're not buying these season tickets and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I think that too often, you know, many of us embrace like a pessimistic type of attitude. We embrace uh, skepticism. We embrace defeatism. We defeat ourselves before we even get started. That's how you remain a slave. You know, when you when you continue to have a defeated mentality, we can have an impact. When black people watch these games on television, we are contributing financially to the NFL. They make all kinds of money off of revenue generated by the ads that are placed on television. And those ads are placed based on the viewership. If black people were to stop watching the NFL games just on TV alone, that would have a huge impact on their bottom line. And there have been some reports about how, you know, the protests, the boycotts have had some impact on the revenue of the NFL. But if more of us, if most of us were united and said, we're not watching any of these games, we're not going to any of these games, we're not purchasing any NFL gear, you can't tell me that that would not have an impact, especially given the fact that black men are the majority of the people on the team and a lot of black men are the people watching these games, black men and women. So if, if we were to opt out of watching those games, it would have an impact, just like the boycotts in apart against apartheid South Africa had an impact when black people and other people will united and said, we are not going to um, support companies that do business in South Africa. It eventually led to the collapse of the apartheid regime in South Africa. So we got to keep that in mind, man. You know, why they, when they disrespect Colin Kaepernick, they are disrespecting black people. They are disrespecting our struggle against police brutality. So, you know, those are my thoughts about this. Tell me what you think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.